I don't think I knew. What wait, we... wait, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I, I realized I didn't have it on. That's such a good fucking statue of the Lich King. I don't King. think I knew what we were making as we were developing WoW. I didn't know what all the systems in this game were supposed to be. All I knew was that we were building something huge and amazing and beautiful. Yep. yep. When I was hired onto the World of Warcraft team, I think it was under the title of 3D artist. I was hired on as an associate quest designer. Oh, this is so the... I joined World of Warcraft as one of the oh original God. first two quest designers. It was myself and Pat Nagel. My name is Patrick Nagel. I started working at Blizzard in 1997. Wait, Nat Pagel. Tom and the first game I worked on here at Blizzard Wait a second. was World of Warcraft. Woo! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my God. Anixia by the end of the play session? Yeah, we got this. Put it do I need to go back? Vaguely right. remember. <laughs> should, what, is it, what is this template thing, and do I need to worry about it, Alec? Oh my you guys God. did work on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it's the work. Look at all these. You, you never forget your first thing, wow. uh, as it were, that you add to the game. You just don't. I, I can't say I really remember. <laughs> uh, the first quest okay. I made was Kobold Camp Cleanup. Bingle's uh, Lost right. Tools, or I believe it's called Bingle's Missing Supplies. I feel like, man, I really should have remembered that. So the very first thing that I worked on and added to the Green game was some of the right. earliest quests in Westfall. Oh, we had a God. few okay, things I in game. Was... They were like these really old buildings that somebody else had built, and it almost looked like they had just pulled them out of Warcraft 3. Okay. Um, and so I started did, working on the Goldshire Inn. You deliver some mail to a sheriff. So that's what we're doing right Are now. Are you reading the note that Marshall McBride gives you? Yeah. I think I wrote it. <laughs> what, what, you probably, well, it was, probably it was reading the quest. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> the way wow. that we went about it was interesting and very naive um, because Holy we didn't shit, know what man. we were really making then. We had an idea of what we wanted to make, yeah. but the reality would become clear as we got into Alpha. That was the way some of the development on that project went. But the team was just so into everything that we were doing, and we were so passionate about it that sometimes you would just come up with an idea, um, and you thought it was great, Tickle. and you would just do oh, it. Oh boy! Working on a lot of different things at the same time was, of course, a challenge too. There were the talents, there was the class design, there yep. was the auction house, there was PvP, there was like a lot of different stuff going on at once. I think it was the first time I've seen a group of human beings so singularly motivated and passionate oh, about anything in my life. I think they really just wanted oh, to make a massively multiplayer role-playing game that they wanted to play. And I mean, that's what I got, you know, from it. And that's they why wanted I wanted to, to join. That's right. you, guys, yeah. you guys remember when we had to do these quests? <laughs> I literally I freaked that. about this. Cause I was like, it was one of my first like, dem like you must do this. And I'm like freaking out. And I'm like, it's gotta be amazing. And so like, <laughs> I'm gonna name this guy something awesome. <laughs> Vulcan, <laughs> Vulcan Eisen. <Right>? <laughs> it's like Isengard and strategy. Everybody's planning. We are planning our WoW Classic experience right now. And so we're trying to decide, okay. do we want to be Horde or Alliance? You know, I was always the main tank. My wife was the main healer. Do we want to do that again? There you do go. we want to switch it up? Ironically there you enough, go, dude. I go through some of the same, like, considerations about what character class to play. I think all those same questions that were bubbling around in my head 15 years ago or bubbling in my head again, and, and there doesn't feel like there's an absolutely right answer, which is probably a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I would love to go through the dead mines with them as well. I mean, it's it was like I think it was the first dungeon we ever made. Really? It had a great wow. story. Warrior. That's a really good Warrior. story. You're Holy in shit. the dungeon. Yes. Okay. Oh wait. Well, not, no, not the we dungeon haven't. itself. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, we're this is the public. The public oh, there you go. oh, Jeff's going. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, no. <laughs> How did people ever figure this out? <laughs> I wonder. It's kind of bittersweet to think about playing the game again. <gasps> oh my God. Because there was something so was special when it launched. Wow. And I can only hope that um, as I play shit. it again, I can it can reignite that sense of exploration and discovery and the sense of the unknown. And at some point during gameplay, it's like, whatever that initial thing was that grabbed you the first time 15 years ago, it just kind of grabs you again. 
Ooh, I need I heals. I, like, I need heals. I, need <laughs> I don't heels. have it. Oh, you're going down. Oh my god. <laughs> they're gone. They got to nerf that, villagers. dude. Yeah, they got to nerf I, that, I man. I feel like so much of the magic is here in the game, and I, I wasn't actually It'll expecting that. Yeah, how much it, it holds up, and how much of the, the things that. Oh, I like how they're just like all balding dudes. Are still there. But, uh, Wait, did you the guys architects bowl? of the you greatest game get ever. The sheep? What are you doing? <laughs> For me, it's it goes past the 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 playing the, the nostalgia that you get of playing the content, and I, it go, it takes me yeah. to a, to another time of of a younger me in a different mindset. Even I remember during development, the first time that I took a Griffin ride, and I'll never forget that experience of realizing that everything that I was flying over was real yep. and connected, and it was this world for me to explore. Yep. I go back to a quote from Chris Metzen. Chris always said that the main character of World of Warcraft is the world. Something that WoW Classic had that I thought was, was so your important character. to the original experience was sense That's of world. That's a big fucking, yeah. well, think about that. everywhere, so it yeah. really made you think about travel um, right. and pacing. One of the reasons WoW is so successful is that the world itself really draws you in and there's so much character, especially in those early zones. There is yep. so much creative yep. energy and passion yep. that it made up for some of the inexperience sometimes. There he is, Everybody dude. on the team so ardently desired to create the coolest possible thing that they could. And every day we went into work and we poured our heart and souls into the project and I think that's the reason it came together and in, into the game that it is today. It, it's such a like degree of fidelity that like you know millions of people could potentially many millions of people could potentially come and, and play this thing um, that you know they really will. changed us as developers they changed will. us as a company. I'm really excited there's gonna be a bunch of people who've never played World of Warcraft yeah. before yeah. they're gonna get to experience pretty much with somebody a generation before them did and have that magical moment. I mean, I think we should keep it hard oh, like this should, and dude. you know, the people who want to do it, it's just gonna be a really fun way to play WoW. I think there's That's something right. to be said That's for going right. home again, um, which is something that we don't get in our lives on a, on a normal basis. Keep it hard. I think that's a special and exceedingly rare thing to be able to do. And I think that WoW Classic gives those people that opportunity to experience again what home feels like. See, this is what we've been waiting for, man. Look at, look, at these, look at these comments. I'm hoping returning to our roots will help strengthen and make retail WoW well better. Me too. You think you do, but you don't. However, we did. Best game ever created. I can't wait for classic launch. Fuck, man. Shit, dude. Like, I, it's like maybe three years ago, dude. But I, I I can't imagine seeing like all the uh, all the original devs like playing together. You know what I mean? This because like, did did you ever expect that we would ever see something like this three fucking years ago? All the devs playing classic. Wow. No Chris Metzen. Yeah, unfortunately he didn't have Chris Metzen. But like I mean they had all the other guys. I mean all these guys made the game. Like I would have never fucking expected to see this happen, man. Are, are all of them at Blizzard now? I I think they're all at Blizzard still. I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, Sean, I don't know about that. Like the video? Yeah, we're gonna give this a big fucking thumbs up, dude. I'll link you guys the video right here. 2005 BlizzCon Jeff. Yeah, I, I know. There's a lot of those fucking videos, man. There are four pretty much the only ones left. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck, man? Like, I... <sighs> It's really, really fucking badass to see that, man. I'll say that for sure. Uh, so guys, and like, look at all these guys, right? These are like old dudes. They got gray beards at this point. They're balding a little bit. And these are the dudes that made and, and played while well. Bomber the Bold. You donated yesterday saying that you were checking that I'd be here. Well, it looks like I am. Thank you very much for the two years, man. Um, <clears throat> 12 Reddit dislikes. Well, no, those are uh, those are Alabaster Griffin owners right there. Uh, there are 12 Alabaster Griffin owners who were downvoting that video. They're like, oh, son of a bitch, man. It's not going to be as good as it was. 
but people are not gonna like it. They, they're not gonna go play for like five minutes and do like one quest. I can't do this anymore. I gotta go back to fucking BFA, dude. These fucking losers. No, that's what it's gonna be, man. And, and like everybody knows it. Uh, that's me. Wait, what? That's not me, dude. I fucking love Classic WoW. Like, I, I, I love this meme, right? That, like, just because I said the game wouldn't last for like a million years, everybody's like, oh, he hates it. Like, what do you mean I fucking love Classic?